Hello, this is Steven Vickers. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a reading using a level and level rod. First off, you have to focus the eyesight of the level so you can see the level rod. Uh, you'll also have to focus the reticle, which is the crosshair you see in the center there. And you have to line up that reticle with the level rod itself. So that little crosshair denotes the number that you are going to be reading. In a moment, I'll zoom in so you can read a little better. So here we can see it's 146 centimeters, or 1.46 meters. Each of these little checkerboard squares, or horizontal squares, denotes a half centimeter increment. You can see the value we're reading is going up. That's because the level rod is making a bow towards the level. So it's not perpendicular to the ground. As we start to return back to perpendicular and then bow away from the level rod, again, it will hit that 146 centimeter mark and then go back up again. So the lowest number you read there is the correct reading because that is where the level rod is perpendicular to the earth, neither bowing towards the level or bowing away from the level. To assist in reading the level rod, the colors at each meter alternate between red and black. We're at red now, so we're in the one meter increment. The five with the line above it denotes the 50 centimeter increment, and that checkerboard with the white dot in it just below the reticle indicates a five centimeter increment. So we are one centimeter above 145. Okay, so now that I've made my first reading, I'll find the rod at a second location and the difference in my readings will be the difference in elevation or difference in height between those two points. In this case it looks like 0.885 meters. Again I'll bow towards the level and bow away from the level and in between those two I will see that the lowest value is again that 0.885. Again, bowing towards the level and bowing away from the level. So, 0.885 is this reading, and 1.460 was our previous reading. The difference between is 0.575 meters. So, 0.2 is 0.575 meters above 0.1. And that's just how you uh, take a reading with the level and level rod. So here I'll just draw a quick diagram to help explain that relationship between uh, the readings on the level rods and the difference in elevation. So here I've drawn just an arbitrary ground with a few different elevations and I've drawn two points with an elevation of one and an elevation two. Here I'm drawing my uh, level itself and a horizontal line, which uh, is the eyesight of the level. Now the level is set up over an arbitrary elevation level and has an arbitrary uh, height of the instrument. We don't get into these, but we will cancel these out in our equations. So here I'll draw the level rods that we read in this exercise. And I'll put in the height of the rod 1 and the height of the rod 2 above elevation 1 and 2. So these are the readings that we read using the level and the reticle. So height of the rod 1 is 1.46 meters and height of the rod 2 is 0 0.885 meters. The height of our level is unknown and the elevation of the, uh, the point that the level is above is also unknown and we don't know elevation one or two either. So if we want to describe uh, an equation for elevation two, it's equal to the elevation of the level plus the difference in height uh, between the instrument and the height of the rod. The same applies for the elevation at one. So rearrange one of those equations, we get the elevation of the level equals the elevation at one minus the difference between the height of the level and the height at one. 
So putting this rearranged equation into that first one for elevation 2, we can cancel out the height of the level. And we are left with the elevation at 2 is equal to the elevation at 1 plus the height reading at 1 minus the height reading at 2. So rearranging again, we get the change in elevation is equal to the negative change in the reading of the level rod, the negative change in height.